Sasuke is weaker than you think. Now, he is one of the strongest characters in the show up to this point, but there are many instances where I feel people give Sasuke too much credit. I mainly mean if Sasuke were to take a W in a fight, it's only in his favor because of inconveniences that others had to endure. For starters, his win over Orochimaru was horse crap. Orochimaru was already nerfed since he couldn't perform ninjutsu with his hands and was bedridden and overall just dying because of not finding the proper host in time. Sasuke used that to his advantage and killed Orochimaru in the process. It was impressive, but if Orochimaru was at full power at that point in time, we'd be singing a different tune. Going into the Itachi fight, most people knew Sasuke was going to win because of plot. He hadn't even unlocked his Makegyo Sharingan at this point and somehow won the fight. How you may ask? It's because of two reasons. The first was that Itachi was sick due to getting some ninja aids or whatever it was. I don't know if it was fully explained how he got sick, probably due to the overuse of the Makekyo Sharingan, I don't know. And the main reason being that Itachi wasn't even trying to kill Sasuke. Itachi planned this all along and knew Sasuke would be the one to kill him so that he would be seen as the hero in the Leaf Village. Yeah, they ain't work out. Anyways, point still stands that if Itachi had the intent to kill Sasuke, he would've. Now let's talk about something that is more debatable, that being the Naruto vs Sasuke fights. Now it's no question that the rooftop fight indicated Naruto was ahead of Sasuke, there's no arguing that. Their first fight in the final valley could be debated in Sasuke's favor, as they were only in the Ninetale Cloak and Curse Mark forms for a short time, so it'd be hard to calculate which form is stronger of the two. But I will say that even though Sasuke won that fight, Naruto didn't have the intent to kill Sasuke. Now for their final fight, I'm sure people want to make a strong case for Sasuke's favor, but I'm gonna have to edge it to Naruto. They ended in a draw, but Sasuke was actively trying to kill Naruto, while Naruto wasn't even trying to kill Sasuke. A big example to strengthen that is that Sasuke brought out the tailed beast in the Chibaku Tensei to amp up his Susanoo, but Naruto was only using his regular nine-tailed powers against him. So really, no argument should be made in Sasuke's favor here. Now the fight that fully confirmed the idea that Sasuke isn't all that strong is his fight with Killer B. If you take away Sasuke's teammates, he would have been dead 10 times over. And do we even want to consider that a win for Sasuke after he was helped out 20 times by his teammates? He didn't even capture B as he ended up getting away after Sasuke pulled out the Amaterasu. That's kind of weak, bro. Me personally, I wouldn't take that level of disrespect. You just found out that the Leaf Elders made Itachi merc your clan, and this is the performance you give? Get back, ninja! Get back! Particle style atomic dismantling jutsu! Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, no way, boy. Now, there are moments where I feel Sasuke's strength deserves some merit, like with his fight against Deidara, but those are far in between and aren't highlighted as much as others in the show. Overall, I think that Sasuke is strong, but just not as strong as you think. Were there any points I missed? Do you think I'm leaving off more than I should? Let me know in the comment section below. I'm the curly-haired Okage, and I hope you have an overall great and blessed day. Peace.